if you can hear people talking in the background, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so, um, today this is going to be a vlog, and this is my outfit. This is my outfit. This is, this is my outfit. I'm super cute. I'm super cute. I'm super adorable. I am the most adorable human being to ever walk this earth. But anyway, <laughs> that's a really good affirmation. Use it. Write it down below in the comments and say, I am the most adorable human being to ever walk the planet of this earth. Anyway, even though it's me, but again, in everyone's reality, it can be you if that's what you really want. <laughs> Speaking of cute, so there is uh, I, I post my um, I post my art on TikTok sometimes, um, my webtoon, and um, I have kind of terrible vision, so I can't really tell if this is even focused. I think it is. I hope it is. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so I'm a webtoonist. And it's always been my dream to, um, ever since I was a little 12-year-old on the internet, watching anime and illegally streaming it on random websites and, you know, making AMVs and getting copyright restrictions. That's what I was doing when I was 12. But nowadays we have TikTok. And on TikTok, a lot of 12-year-olds, I assume they're 12-year-olds because you must be a child to actually, um, you know, have the guts to say these kinds of things to people. But anyway, a lot of them comment about my character's eyeballs and how they're kind of like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so sometimes I do draw them straight and I draw them that way, but other times when it feels like there's kind of a dramatic moment, I kind of draw them like that. So, you saw this in my, um, I will link it there. Up there, up there, up there, up there. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so yeah, I went to school for art, I went to, um, I literally, like, started off getting a fine arts certificate, um, so I can basically be a museum curator if I wanted to, I don't want to, so that's why I'm not, um, <laughs> well, I would need to have a little bit more, um, you know, credentials to actually do that, but anyway, ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got money, so, um, I became a webtoonist instead, but anyway, so. Basically, um, what this, what this whole, I gotta zip up my bomber because this is gonna get, this is gonna get explosive. So, <laughs> I can draw realistic. I can draw realistic. I've been drawing realistic for a while now. Ever since I actually, like, started drawing, I have been drawing realistic. And my favorite thing to draw has always been eyeballs. I love eyeballs. Eyeballs are my favorite thing to draw ever. So, <laughs> you wanna hear some tunes? I'll play some after. Anyway. <laughs> I have a, I have a, um, I have a piano right here, yes, 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 his name is Yoongi. I've had it since long before BTS debuted, but hey, I, 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 I named him Yoongi. Um, yes, I'm a legendist, I took fine arts, I know a lot about fine arts, I know a lot about modern art, I know a lot about art history, I know a lot about art, so, for 12 year olds to kind of be like, your eyeballs, there's something wrong with your eyeballs. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, there is something wrong with my eyeballs. I really need to fix them. But anyway. <laughs> um, so, yes. Um, when um, A lot of weebs, a lot of otakus, a lot of weeaboos, um, a lot of like people that love anime. And let me tell you, if you're looking for realistic when you're watching anime and reading manga, I have some really bad news. Anime is not realistic. <laughs> so, um, anyway. Here's a picture that I drew of our lovely, it might be in the middle, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but anyway, <laughs> here's a picture I drew of our lovely Golden Makne, our favorite person, our favorite um, people, right? I'm going to draw um, other people, but, um, you know, here's a random picture of John Cook that I drew. Um, I can draw realistic. <laughs> I don't um, understand, really. Um, what any random 12 year old on TikTok would be gaining from saying, oh my god. But again, we're here to spread love and light, but also call out when people are being a little bit ridiculous. So yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. So basically, how about um, you just practice your own art? And if you're not an artist or an art critic, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing commenting about? Eyeballs. Are your eyeballs okay? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I, it's a stylistic choice. That's why I draw them this way. 
um, for my webtoon, I, I literally chose to draw them in that specific way, and I've always kind of had a problem with proportion, and that's always been something that I've kind of, you know, that's why I'm better at, like, close-ups, like, faces, and actually when I was, like, younger, I really wanted to do, like, tattoos, like, tattoo people, um, <laughs> I didn't, obviously, because, you know, it's just too much, it's too much, like, uh, what's it called? They said that, but mostly you're just, like, cleaning, and I'm like, cleanliness is really important. I get it. But I don't love tattoos enough to actually do that. <laughs> but anyway, so I became a webtoonist instead. Um, so yeah, I know a lot about art. Caveman drawings are the most beautiful drawings you'll ever see. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there. <laughs> Very first artists that ever were to walk the earth. Caveman. Anyway. So, yes. I was also, um, one of my past lives, I was a caveman. Cavewoman. Cave something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so, yes. I'm kind of getting off topic. What was I saying? Ah, TikTok. So, yeah. I'm getting a lot of comments, and I get so many comments about, like, how I draw and, like, why I draw this way. It's because it's a stylistic choice. If I wanted to draw them looking realistic, I would draw them looking realistic. But that would take a lot of time. Time I don't have. <laughs> and, you know, um, also, like, uh, anime isn't realistic. Um, girls don't have boobs that big and waist that tiny and um, hips that huge all at once. That's just not a thing unless you're, you know, plastic surgery. Of course, you could have you could have that kind of anime body, um, but normally um, under natural circumstances in which people would be realistically trying to replicate what eyeballs look like, um, anime does not look like that. <laughs> That is not anime, and if you're looking for realism in anime, you are going to be really upset. Really upset. Anyway, um, so yes. So that's all I had to say on that. So, today, we're going to be hanging out with my fam. I don't know if I'm going to record them. We'll see. Um, we're going to a library, and we're going to, because we're all very cultured beings. My entire family, we're very cultured. We know about art. We know about art. And we know about about fashion someone, okay? I just do what I want. <laughs> I know this outfit, WTF, I do what I want. <laughs> anyway, um, and we know about, we know about culture. Um, we know about a lot of things like that. So we're gonna go to a library and we're gonna have fun there. I don't know if I'm gonna talk, that's why I'm talking mostly here. I just wanted to like talk about that real quick because <laughs> I don't know if I'll have time to talk later and I really wanted to address this. Oh my god, I don't understand it. So many comments about just like how, <laughs> How I draw eyeballs, and eyeballs are my favorite thing to draw. Um, I could literally make an entire webtoon just out of eyeballs, nothing else, just eyeballs with legs. Lashes can be little legs. You really need a lot of creativity if you're gonna be a webtoonist. You need a lot of, um, you know, you need that sacral chakra flowing well. So yes, um, and I actually um, later today I will do a tarot reading for you. Um, and, uh, I'm not sure what it will be, um, it'll be, maybe, it'll be collective reading, obviously, because in these vlogs I do collective readings. Um, <laughs> maybe about how, um, because, you know, whenever you get some kind of, like, it's kind of a reflection of what is going on within you, so, I'm kind of wondering, like, all these random 12-year-olds writing to me on TikTok, maybe it's, like, what is it that's making me insecure? Like, do I just feel like I'm not good enough? Of course, every Virgo feels like they're not good enough. Um, <laughs> a perfectionist. Yeah. And when I do look back on my drawings when I first started, yeah, I'm way better now. But I'm definitely, you know, when I look back on my drawings in the future, I'm going to be terrible now. Um, and that's okay. So I think what all these things are saying, um, yeah, they're probably right. But again, these things come through to say, are you going to buckle under pressure? Are you gonna let the haters win? Or are you just gonna do you and be happy anyway? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um, I, I, I will make a TikTok specifically to respond to these awkward comments. <laughs> Art is subjective, just like beauty. <laughs> my characters are based on me and my eyes are pretty far apart. I love it. I'm that petty kind of person. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's a shadow attribute. Um, Libra, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 
I, I can understand where you're coming from. You are 12 years old. You know so much about art, more than me who literally has a fine art certificate. Yes, I understand, I understand, yeah, yeah. Who took art in college, who, who has learned so much about art, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. 12 year olds have a specific outlook on life, and they're also in a really awkward stage. I understand, I was there too. I was in love with anime characters for a long time, and there was a reason for that, but, you know, sometimes you have to, you have to move out of that anime space, and I don't think you're quite ready for the real world yet. Yeah, I don't think you're ready. But anyway, you'll learn. You'll learn, baby child, don't worry. Yeah, we're doing a vlog today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like my outfit. I look really cute. Okay, now I'm gonna play you a little, a little tune, a little tune with my Yoongi. Let's do it. Oh gosh, I didn't even turn it on. <laughs> It's not plugged. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Let's get it. Did you recognize it? <laughs> I know. I'm a little bit rusty. I don't really use this piano very much and it got really damaged um i don't know I'm, i don't i don't really get it the keys are like plastic so i can't really clean it like you would clean ivory this is really a cheapo piano <laughs> anyway um back to the fashion back to the fashion right yes uh this was my um beginning of the vlog i guess my hello hi i'm here vlog um i'm gonna continue most of it is probably just gonna be like silence because I don't think my family really wants me to record them, so I'm just gonna take you with with us to the garden and to the library and all the fun stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that today. Let's go. <laughs>
gonna lie, some crazy stuff happened the other day, and that's why I didn't really finish the vlog. <laughs> But I still wanted to do this tarot reading because I felt that it was very relevant considering all the crazy stuff that happened. I'm not going to get into that because it's personal. Maybe one day I will spill the tea if I feel petty enough, but for now I'm good. And trust, rest assured, it has nothing to do with all the 12 year olds on TikTok. <laughs> so. Um, I'm here on another day later in the week to do this video. If you like this shirt, by the way, I know there might be some cat hair on it. <laughs> I don't know if it's really showing up on camera, but if you like this shirt, um, I actually have it for sale on my shop, so you can check out the link in the description and get one. There's one from Melancholia, Hysteria, and Euphoria if you're interested in any of those. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Let's get into the reading. Um, so today I wanted to kind of focus on self, you know, self-care, self-love. Should I get the... I'll get this. It's kind of hot in here, so I didn't really want to wear it. <laughs> but I will put this here just to make it all nice and cute to do some tarot. So um, today the theme is kind of self-love. Whoa, that got weird on the camera. Um, the sun is going down, it's like 7, so we'll see how much light I have left. But anyway, I have a lot of light left. It's fine. Let's start with some self-care oracle. My sister got this for me. She gets me, she's gotten me all of my tarot decks, I'll be honest. <laughs> she's great, she's fun. Um, I usually, well, okay. I usually, um, actually I have a thing, um, that I do, that I've started doing recently, um, where I kind of just shuffle this in the beginning of the day, and it kind of just, kind of helps me set up my day, like what should I do, what should I do with my day, you know? So I kind of use these cards to figure out how I should start the day, because I don't really, I'm not a morning person, you know? Um, and I've kind of been trying to do some self-care since that craziness, and that's why I've kind of not, I've, I've uploaded videos since then, but it's kind of been, I've not really been very, you know, anyway. <laughs> Let's start with these. Any messages for the collective? Flow like water. Flow like water. Mm. That's kind of like that feminine energy, that surrender. Even just being in water. I know for me, water is really healing. Ooh. Okay, we have meditate, <laughs> yeah, and positive affirmations. I'll read some of these, some of you might need to hear it. I love myself, I choose love, brave, beautiful, worthy, grateful, healthy, happy. This is a pretty card. I love this deck, and this is what this card looks like. That lotus flower. Lotus flower is all about kind of... It can represent um, twin flames, and the back of the deck is chanting, so it seems like what spirit wants us to do right now is just kind of focus on ourselves, you know, self-care, of course, but aside from that, um, kind of be in that calmness, kind of get in tune with our intuition, kind of like connect to our inner, our inner world. like water. Two is about union and also partnership and also um, kind of balance. And four is about stability. I know for me my stability has been off a lot <laughs> and maybe if you found this video yours has too. <laughs> um, three is about growth. And five is about change. I've been seeing a lot of five by five, so that's a thing for me. I don't know about you. 
and four is about stability again, and one is about new beginnings. So a new beginning and stability. And I think the way we manifest this is through positive affirmation, just speaking positively about ourselves, speaking more positively about thinking more positively about whatever situations you may find yourself in. Chanting is an eight. Chanting is number eight. So that, that could be referring to wealth, you know, creating abundance. Yeah. And I also do the romance angels, but I usually do that more for self-care than for how is my, how is my, you know, divine counterpart feeling. <laughs> I more want to check in with myself because, you know, we are our divine counterparts. My sister got me this. It's not, um, gilded or anything, which is fine. I actually don't mind. These are really cute. I like them. They're little, they're compact. They're easy to shuffle. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been kind of using this deck for myself in terms of like, how can I love myself better? You know, like romance myself in a way, because <laughs> I've really been needing that after the craziness that ensued. I'm not going to get into it because it's kind of personal, but if I feel like spilling the tea one day, maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> I'm that type of person that would rather write a diss track and then it'll come out in my music, you know, or in my poetry. I haven't made music for a while. I don't think I've ever sang in front of you guys, but anyway. Well, I did on Patreon, so. <laughs> so. How can the collective watching this video love themselves better? summer um, water, maybe even hydration too, I'm hearing that. With these three cards, I'm actually getting water energy, um, earth energy, and air energy. So love yourself first, guys. <laughs> Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Well, the romance angels are saying you love yourself first. So that's what we're trying to do here, you know? Um, I'll get two more cards. How can we love ourselves better in this collective energy? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this is telling me that through spirit, right, our intuition, um, whatever inspired action you get to do, whether it's like, you know, any of these kind of self-care ideas or just um, how you whatever you feel like doing at any given moment, do it with, make sure you're coming from the heart space. And think about how you would feel about yourself afterwards too. I just heard that. Love yourself first though. Truly love yourself. It's not enough to say I love myself. Actually feel that love within yourself. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I'm also hearing like social media. Take a social media detox. Just don't be on social media. Because um, remember, um, and I've kind of been wrestling with this too, just like getting off social media. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yeah. So how we can love ourselves more is through forgiveness of any people that have wronged us in the past, or I don't know why I keep grabbing my scrunchie, whatever. Any people that have wronged us in the past. I just saw 1010, that's all about karmic cycles. All right, heard you, spirit. It's all about karmic cycles and kind of completion. You know, coming to um, kind of a, where everything comes together. Um, yeah, and with retreat, you know, I know the algorithm, right? The algorithm this, the algorithm that. Just manifest, you know? That's what manifestation is for. It's to make things easier. So let's see if we can get a little more messages with the tarot about this whole situation. What's going on with the collective? What's going on with the collective? And the new moon in Cancer, um, we just kind of went through that as I'm filming this video. For me, that, that literally kicked my butt. <laughs> I've been, 
kind of dealing with a lot of shadow work, emotional, kind of been stressed out. I'm trying to transmute that energy into something creative, but at the same time, I've not felt very motivated. <laughs> oh gosh, that was a terrible shuffle. Like I said, I've not felt very motivated. <laughs> okay. So. Any messages for the collective watching this video? My cat is twitching. Nine of Cups reversed. I'm really feeling feeling that this is like a lack of self-confidence. That's definitely happening here for some people. Kind of like a, a feeling of not being able, yeah. Ace of Cups reversed. This, this comes back to self-love. There's kind of like a absence in the way we love and immaturity too, but also a new beginning. It's kind of like a new beginning in loving yourself, I guess. <laughs> I actually have a comfort album I listen to where I always go back to it and I just feel so good. <laughs> Three of Swords reversed. Yeah, so I mean, it's moving past the heartbreak, moving past the pain and kind of being able to let that go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sun right underneath it. Just to embrace happiness, drop the burden, you know? And the karma. Karma will always be there, but it's more about making peace with that. Kind of releasing all that emotional baggage, I guess. And, you know, every time I see this, I've said this in another reading, but you might want to see that. It's called um, Incoming Blessings from the Universe. Um, I always kind of, since that video, I've kind of seen this as the turning back time almost, where the rain goes up instead of down and the clouds clear. And once the clouds clear, there's the sun. <laughs> so, yeah, it does feel like spirit wants us to kind of have more love for ourselves, obviously. Kind of go within, and it's kind of like, you know, sometimes it's scary to go within, retreat, and kind of be in your own space, be alone. Um, but when you make the effort, you kind of realize that loving yourself first was always the right, the right thing. <laughs> Being at the beach, kind of. The beach has always been my happy place. I always feel happy when I go to the beach, even though I can't swim. I must have had a past life in Atlantis or something. <laughs> but anyway, these are all, um, water, by the way, all three of these tarot cards are all, um, are all representative of the cups, so, and we are in Cancer, um, we just passed the new moon in Cancer now, so, that was kind of heavy, <laughs> anyway, so, I love this, by the way, my sister got it for me, it's, a uh, it's a raven, <laughs> It's gold and it's a raven, um, because ravens are one of my spirit guides. I want to do a video about my spirit guides and how you can find yours, too, um, find out what yours are. Um, I have, I have a few spirit guides that hang out with me sometimes, <laughs> that I get messages from, that I channel in these readings, too. But yeah, it's kind of like there's been like a lack of self-confidence that was brought on by some kind of heartbreaking situation, but it's time to move past this and into a more hopeful and inspiring time. I think for the collective, honestly, because this is a collective reading. <laughs> I feel like I'm feeling the energy of all this collective, you know. Of course, everyone who's, um, you know, empathic. For me, like, maybe that's why healing family issues came up. It's kind of been about family issues and stuff personal stuff, but, um, yeah, and with the Ace of Cups, this is about, um, there's, like, a lack of self-love, but it's time to transform this, I really feel like, especially with the page. It's a new beginning in how to kind of love, and how you look at love, too. How you look at loving yourself. Like I said, I've been using these self-care oracle and the romance angels more in a, instead of, how's my... You know, this is what I used to do when I first got into spirituality. I wanted to know all about my person, all about what is he doing, how is he doing. 
because like of course I love him but you know I love me more <laughs> that's what it's kind of become for me so um yeah recently I've just wanted to be more focused on myself and how I'm doing like how am I doing <laughs> you know I feel like that's a collective shift that's kind of been happening with a lot of like twin flames and a lot of other divine counterparts and stuff they're kind of like they're making that shift into, I'm tired of being so obsessed with this other person. I want to be more into myself, you know? More in my own energy. And that's what all three of these are about. Each of these. Yeah. This is all about self-love. So, what do the angels have to say? Oops! No! <laughs> situation will improve. Compromise. This kind of goes back to healing family issues, being able to, you know, restore the balance. My cat sneezed <laughs> and he's really cute just looking at the sun right now. And ask for help from others, yeah. Yeah, this is about, like, compromise, finding that compromise within yourself, being able to kind of balance out the energy. No, this feels like... Mm, it fell on top of this. <laughs> yeah. Say no to all this self-pity, self-deprecating um, situation, self-deprecation. Um, turn this Nine of Cups upright. Because Nine of Cups is fulfillment, Nine of Cups is happiness, Nine of Cups is all about... Every time I see this, I think of that BTS song, um... Did you see my bag? Mic drop! <laughs> um, you know, look at all the trophies. It's hella trophies and it's hella thick. That's what it means, man. There's a lot of... Think about all the things you've accomplished thus far, even if it's small accomplishments, everything. It's like, there's a, something that comes to mind. Um, that's coming to mind for me, um, and this is kind of a personal thing, but I'll, I've shared it on my channel before. Um, every day, I would just wish that I could just move, and then I was finally able to move. It's like, think about how far you've come, like, where you are right now, my cat is staring at me, so cute, where you are right now is where you've dreamt to be before, really. Think about how far you've come. Every little victory is a huge victory. Every breath you take is something to be proud of, you know? So yeah, the situation will improve. So whatever you guys are going through right now, and whatever kind of energy is around you, it will get better. I feel like it will get better through loving yourself first, making the effort, retreating into your own energy, meditating, saying some positive affirmations, kind of going out into nature really, connecting with water, and um, kind of chanting too, yeah. Healing family issues. Look at your family and see like where you can heal, where there's kind of, you know, do some introspection and see for yourself. Because I do feel like there's a new start happening, especially with the page. There's a new start. Um, a new start in love too for some people I'm hearing. Um, yeah, there's definitely like some kind of offer coming in of some kind of love, be it romantic, um, platonic, whatever it is, or just self. All is important. So that's the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I, you know, came in a different time. Um, a lot of stuff happened the other day, so I wasn't able to film anymore because I just wasn't in the headspace. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I'm gonna get going now. Bye!